C cells. Uh, uh, do you know are you confident that uh, you're not going to be the underdog for the game? Oh no, I think I think St Helens are favourites. Obviously, as the table says, but um, you know these games, in, in my experience, is it, it, it's not really about form. I, what I've felt in these in these derbies in the past, I've, I think as a player, I've experienced one of the probably the biggest upsets in in, in modern time in regards to St Helens and Wigan derbies. I think we had a team one year where you know we were we had five or six players come up from the academy on the last day to play, and those players stood up. It's, it's always been. The biggest game of the year for all, you know, Wigan fans and St Helens fans. So, I, I, I think it'll be no different. I think it's the capacity crowd. I think St Helens are bringing a, a big crowd with them. So, you know, hopefully, Wigan can load the, the ground up and, and, and have that atmosphere here. But, you know, it's 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 a, you know they've, they've been playing great footy at the moment and, and miles ahead. So, it, it's going to be a challenge, but one that we're looking forward to. Justin, is this your favourite fixture? Oh yeah, obviously yeah, definitely with, with you know Saints versus Wigan is. is Massive for, for everybody, as, as Lamy said, you know, both sets of fans, and we know the history of the, the two clubs, and they're always big clubs, aren't they? So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a massive day, and one we look forward to on Friday. Have you any injury concerns? Um, no, I think we're okay. Yeah, just good. not sure on, on TO far as you sort of see how he goes later in the week, but everyone else is, is fine. I'm guessing you'd be helping Lockers won't be playing. <laughs> well, I can't, I've got that say in that, have I? Um, <laughs> But yeah, just to reiterate what Amy said, yeah, Lock, Lock is, a, is a great player, he always has been, and, and, and he always looks forward to playing St. Helens. So um, if he's 50 50, he'll play, that's for sure. So we'll, we'll expect him to play. A few uh, interesting matchups, too. I know Lamy said a few weeks ago he reckons he had the best back five in the league at Saints. Obviously, a bit of an acid test this one as well, isn't it? Yeah, obviously, um, they, they do have a great back five, and I think I, I watched closely the game after he. he Quoted in that, and they, they destroyed Catalans out here. So, um, you know, they, they are very quick and agile and, and get through a lot of work for, for, for the wing side. So, yeah, we're going to have to do a pretty good job on, on their backfield, that's for sure. The results probably haven't shown it, but have you seen Wigan develop since you played in round one in terms of adjusting to the style that they want to uh, bring in here? Oh, yes and no. I think what's probably made it a bit difficult for them is, is the, the side changing a fair bit and, and not sort of been settled every week for him so I think um, you know they've they've shown in some games I think round one against us was really hard and I think the World Club challenge against the Roosters they were outstanding and then, and then the Catalans game so they've, they've shown what they're capable of so um, we know you know they're as dangerous as any other side in the comp on the day so um, while they're obviously not happy you know where they're sitting through through 10 rounds um, we've certainly seen um, what they're capable of. And is that, I'm guessing that's the side that you're prepping for rather than the team that lost at Wakefield. Oh, definitely. And, and as yeah, well, Emmy's already said about the derby, in, in, in any sport, of, of any derby, you, you know, you know that the, the two sides want to win more than anything. So it doesn't matter where they sit in the table. You, you're going to, both sides will be prepared to be playing each other at their best and, and will be you know, no different playing against Wigan on Friday. Lachlan, you've played most of the Super League sides already so far. Where, where did that round one rank in terms of the atmosphere and the occasion? Yeah, it's um, sorry, round one was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was um a great atmosphere and um, it was actually yeah, Justin, you know, warned me about it and how it was going to be and uh, hostile and everything like that. So, um, expecting nothing different uh, this week and uh, you know, really excited to, to get out there and experience what it's going to be like. So, you played a few Yorkshire derbies, but is this the biggest in the league? Um, I can't speak for the whole one, but uh, I think so. I think it is, yeah. Um, you know, the first game of the season, I was a bit preoccupied about making sure I catch every ball and, and run as hard as I can and being energetic, you know, with my first game back. So I'm more con concentrated on myself and trying to do a performance for, for the team. But, you know, the I'm, I'm really excited in the build up this week. Um, I spoke uh, to a few of the coaching staff this week and I said, is it a lot different from the first from the first game when we played Saints? And they said, yeah, um, it's a bit, you know, it's like a final. Uh, I think I've seen on the internet that Saints bringing five, six thousand fans, so that that brings the intensity up as well. So it's something I'm really looking forward to, and uh, you know, I think it's a uh, 22 degrees on Friday, so you know weather's going to be great, and hopefully we see two two sides going at it. Just did you and Lamy know each other back in Australia, did you guys before you come over here? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we both sort of at, at the Roosters there in different roles, but I you know, run into him every now and then, but. Um, yeah, not not in great depth, but always say you know. Did we play against each other? 
Well, I wasn't that good, was I? <laughs> <laughs> I was probably playing a game before you. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, that game you referred to was that Good Friday game, wasn't it? In 2003, I forgot about that when you had the team of kids. Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what year it was, but it was. Yeah, that was it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What was the score there? 24-22. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was that was the one where we had nobody playing really. That was a, probably one of the best. Kids in front of rugby union and things like that, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, I think a couple of those players never ever played Super League again after that game. So, for, not for the right reasons or wrong reasons. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, <laughs> mate. You've come up, you've won, and you've <laughs> no. I, I just think that 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 was how, how um, different that game was. Some players were called up and never played again, yeah. and that's how sort of we were we were at our at our um, lowest there, looking for, um, trying to recruit players and, and get players all from the academy. Obviously, you've got fond memories of it, though. You remember it like that? Yeah, I do. I do. Some of the bad as well in that game because I think they got off the fly and then we we caught up and um, and, and finished really strong. So, Zach, how how impressed have you been with, been with Saints since you played them in round one? Yeah, they've been brilliant. Um, you know, it's the benchmark. Obviously, they're sitting at the top of the tree, so. Um, just all around, I think you know the forwards. You know it's an easy game, and the forwards are playing well, and you know the backs as well. So it's uh, something we spoke about about we wanting to be the, the best back five, and you know obviously I've been watching Saints when they've been on telly, and you know that they're they're the back five to chase, and you know we're really confident about our ability, and you know hopefully the forwards stand up and, and do their do their jobs as well. So um, you know they've been playing outstanding, um, so it's just you know it's a challenge that you know all, everyone at Wigan. Is, you know, for the challenge. Lachlan, are you looking forward to the start of summer rugby Friday? <laughs> 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 well, I am actually. Yeah, hopefully it's yeah, like Zach was saying, hopefully it's a nice day, the sun's out, and um, you know, with the fans that are going to be out, they're going to enjoy the enjoy the atmosphere as well. So, really looking forward to for a bit of warm weather. What have you made of your first three months in, in Super League? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, since I've been at the club, they've been awesome. We've got a great bunch of blokes that I'm playing beside, and um, like Zach was saying before, with the, the forward pack playing behind them is, um, has been uh, reasonably easy. So, um, with their go forward, it's making my job a lot easier. Have you got your head around the, the crowd chanting your name now? <laughs> uh, it's a pretty full on, um, yeah, pretty emotional night the other night um, against Warrington. Um, just with that atmosphere walking um, around after the field and uh, with the crowd, um, you know, obviously singing that song, was, um, it was a pretty emotional moment uh, to think where I was at last year and thinking my, you know, not my ability, thinking that I was coming to the end of my career and, you know, coming here to the Saints has uh, really, you know, got me firing again and, and really um, finding the love for the game again. Well, I mean, how does it work in terms of Salford three days later? Are you already prepping for that? Have you got some players in mind for that game that you're going to keep back? Yeah, I'm sure every team does. You've got to just make sure that you've got all those bases covered, and and um, you know it's it's a pretty difficult task for, for for players in the Super League to play at that this level on Friday night against the best uh, players and some of the best players in the world. And then to double and double it up three days later, it's just physically a, a massive challenge. So you just got to make sure that you've got bodies in position and place ready to go in case worst case scenario, or in case you know you um you, you need some sort of energy. From somewhere else. It's a new experience for you, Lop, and playing three days later like that. <laughs> you looking forward to it or a bit worried about it? Yeah, I'm actually interested to see yeah, how it all how it all goes. Um, you know, I've just sort of tried to get my head around it, but um, I've just sort of looked back to what Origin players do. I guess play on that Wednesday and follow it up on the back of Friday or Saturday, whatever day they're playing. So I, don't know, I guess if they're doing that, then you know, there's no reason why we can't do it ourselves. So. And having watched the Wakefield game back, have you had any other thoughts about that lapse before half time and just after? Yeah, we've had a couple of those during the season. Um, again, just be handy with a little bit more experience in there at some stage to, to manage that process. But um, you know, we, we're playing some good rugby at times, and then just losing concentration. So it's an area that we're addressing every week. Um, but you know, I think with, with one or two more senior players coming back, that'll get fixed pretty quickly.